awesome. And that's where me and Terry Hulk Hogan got really close. And uh, Ric Flair, he was on that tour too. So I was his, I was Rick's, because the Von Erichs and Ric Flair always had a rivalry. Mm. And so I was his like manager to be like, because I was a bad guy on TV. So on tour, I was like the, helping him fuck with Hogan. And so we did the same spot every night where like Rick would grab me, pull me in front of him, push me in front of Hogan. I would bear hug him. Rick would punch him in the face. And, but Rick kept his gig or his blade on his middle finger because he never has anyone with him. So normally, you know what a gig is, right? Like when they hit the turnbuckles, they go like this, and, and they, so blood goes and they everywhere. Cut themselves, right? Yeah. Right. Rick's forehead's fucked, but uh, Hogan's. And they is had fine. it in the tape, right? They tape it. Yeah, in they their tape hand. it. Yeah. And the little bit just sticks out, right? right. Well, so he grabs me and pu pulls me down and then pushes me in front of Hogan. I'm like this, and I, I'm squirting like a waterfall of blood. Oh no! Oh, shit. Like all, they're like this. And I was like, oh, shit. And Uncle Terry's like, it's okay, baby. Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm like, okay. Because we're in front of 20,000 people. Like, yeah. there's nothing to do. Let's hear it, Josh. Yeah. Get some volume. Yeah, yo. Welcome to the Yamano Show with Lacey Von Eric. Close. That was close. It's more like Lacey Von uh, Eric. Lacey Von Eric. There we go. All right, do it all better. over again. Do it all over again. You got it now. You got You're it now. You're awful. Welcome <laughs> to the M&O Show with Lacey Vaughn Eric. Yep, you're fired. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good Does job. It, um, will this will this play it out loud it so you can it hear too. it? I know it's it like means it means beautiful joy. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. If it well, I mean, it guess we'll test that out. It's yeah. It translates into beautiful joy. If it's ugly sadness, I'll let so, you know. Okay. Well. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to hear it. So. Yeah, we don't know. So it's, yeah. but it's bowl, J O I E. Um. So yeah, we're gonna try this. Ready? I'm ready. Woo! Oh, I tried to launch it, but we got to get a sword for next time. <laughs> <laughs> My 16-year-old uh, always tries to swear to me that he can use it, a knife and get it off. He watched it on YouTube, and I've never let him do it. Does I'm like, no, I don't. Does he go to Westlake then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Our kids yeah, are he plays water polo. Our kids are probably in the same. Is he a junior or a sophomore? He's a sophomore. Okay. Mine's a junior. Yeah, he's supposed to be a junior. Why isn't he on the wrestling team? You know I'm one of the coaches at Westlake. I for did wrestling. not know that. Yeah. yeah. How, is he, uh, how is he not on the wrestling team? I don't know. Like a unitard and wrestling around on the ground didn't sound good to him. Especially when you grow up in a pro wrestling family and it's very, very different than real wrestling. Josh, try this? It's more like a show. He's joining the wrestling. He's a boxer. Wait, is a... Uh, he does boxing at... Um, Boss Rittens? Yeah. Because my friend Ryan is a MMA star. Oh, I know Ryan. You do? I yeah. love Ryan. Right. Well, we'll have to take this off camera, but he's he's joining the wrestling team next year. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, Daniel. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, okay, not fit in her with water. She's one polo. of the coaches over there. That's really, you, I know, you missed all of that. You oh, missed right. a whole Sorry, conversation. You already said that. You're with that? Sorry, I was focused. It's <laughs> all right. You uh, were working. On your happy joy. Happy joy. Happy, happy joy, <laughs> joy. That was, uh, what was Red that Stimpy. cartoon? Yeah, Red and Stimpy. I don't know how that came out of my head, but yeah. Spot on, mate. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Happy joy. D to double fisting champagne. Yeah, happy, happy joy. <laughs> you get rid of, I'll get rid of this one, and then yeah. I'll drink this one. Okay. okay. Tell us what you think about Happy Joy. Oh, so far, it smells a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, okay, well, I'll tell you what those. You're smelling the yeast. 
oh, yummy. <laughs> That's what I always tell my husband. That's not me. You're smelling the yeast. <laughs> the notes are floral and yeast notes on the nose. Oh, my God, me too. And <laughs> you can try and cover it up with something florally. Um, no, anyways, uh, <laughs> give away f fruit flavors, citrus, apple. It's a Pinot Noir. Oh, I like it. I can it's taste the apple. Yeah, great balance between the fruit and acid keeps the zero dosage champagne from being, being overly dry. From being overly dry? I think <laughs> you're thinking of my comment so much. <laughs> it's 60% Pinot, 40% Chardonnay, made in France. So you're going to France. Yeah, next year. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to do an international trip with our three kids like once a year. So we do Costa nice. Rica in two weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and then we'll do France next What's year. What's your plan to do in France? Do you have plans do already? Do fancy pants stuff? Yeah. There's a thing called Le Boat. Check it out. Le Mot? Le Boat. Le Boat? The Boat. Oh, okay. And you, you can rent. They don't have a French word for boat? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They must. They just throw a little. Yeah. Le Boat. They just throw a And you could go get an El Taco. Yeah. <laughs> like El Boto. Wait, El is Boto. The, is this the boat trip you talk about going up the river yes, or something yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. It's like a one-way boat. You you stay on the boat. You cruise through the locks. You can pick whichever region of France you want to go. You can go through. And you never get back because it's just one way. I'm it's sorry. It's just one way. No, we're, you, we're out. Yeah, you just go as far <laughs> as like you go as far as you we're can. Not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> that would well, be. You can always find your way back. <laughs> yeah, where, wherever you end up, Hopefully you just jump on a, a cab and. Is that what river? To go would back that be? to Paris. There's locks. They're not oh. rivers. So they're the they're like. So back in the day, before like trucking and roads, they all, through Europe everything was uh, was sent Sticky. through through boats oh, on boats and oh, I'm a horrible guesser. Yeah, <laughs> and so you go, you go, you putt the boat, you s and you sleep on it. So you're kind of traveling through France, but and you're also staying on the Sounds boat. Fun. There's bikes on it, so when you hit the town, you can get off and cruise the town and get. Ooh, up. I like that. And then when you get to the lock, either it goes up or down. You know, whatever, depending on where you are. And then the lock keeper has like the local wine or honey or bread or whatever, and you can buy stuff and then just keep cruising on. And you can just like, you can just. So is this from France? This, this is, is from French, France. yeah. Okay, okay. This is a so that's champagne. the only way you can be a champagne, right? Champagne, if you're from yes. France. Exactly. Otherwise, Otherwise, you're a sparkling, sparkling wine. Sparkling wine. California makes But fun. why is this a Pinot Noir? Because and the grapes. Else? Those oh. are the grapes, yeah. So, so the really Most only thing that makes it champagne is because it's sparkling. It's sparkling white wine from the region of Champagne in France. Oh, my God. You're yeah. so smart. Isn't it? So it's either you Pinot. You own, like, a beer place. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, you're on <honest laughs> yeah. something. Mostly, uh, mostly champ uh, Chardonnay, I think. And then Pinot, obviously, is a good one. But yeah. So when are you all going to start serving some hard liquor here? Any day now. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's really exciting. We're, yes. Currently, we have a 23 license, which allows us to brew and sell beer and wine. And we're getting our 47, which allows us to sell spirits. Real stuff. Yeah. And we need a dance floor. Then we're doing that, too. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have. So is this your show? You just, like, start talking and we just go on regular, like, random tandems? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Pretty much. Yeah. But we typically jump back. In the, a person's history, which we're going to do right now. Oh, that's fun. So Everyone died. <laughs> <laughs> the end. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so where did, you, where did you grow up? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Yeah, so I grew up in a uh, wrestling family. So my granddad started wrestling. He just, like, I think he just, like, wanted to bet on it. He was a boxer. Okay. And he was like, was that in, I'm going to rig this shit. And was because it in I Texas? Have, yeah. Okay. He had a boxing company i guess and he was gonna rig it and make money or something and then so they're like okay we're, we're getting really hurt every night if we're gonna keep this on the road we're gonna like do this five nights a week we can't actually like punch your lights out we really right. we gotta make this a little better started like you know doing the whole wrestling thing and then um he made all of my my dad all five of my uncles all be pro wrestlers but unfortunately we have like a super tragic family like Everyone died of like drug overdose and suicide and wrestling's tough. Yeah, and so, but I, I, and I couldn't get over it. Like I, it was really hard for me to talk about it or anything. And then Vince McMahon called me when I was like 18. And I was like, Hey, do you want to be a diva? And I was like, What the hell's a diva? 
And he was like, oh, you don't watch wrestling? I was like, no, it's kind of a sore subject in my family. Right, right. <laughs> like, they would die. <laughs> I'm going to go watch wrestling. Um, and so uh, he, he was like, oh, will you be a pro wrestler? I was like, do you know what I look like? Because when I was little, like Scary Sherry and Naughty Natalie oh, yeah. were these giant, crazy, yeah. beefed up women. And I'm like... Right. Okay, like I'm not doing steroids or something. <laughs> like, they did. And they're like, oh, Lacey, you know, they're our babysitters. Like, they hold us up with one arm. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not that kind of girl. So, anyway, I just I signed the contract that night and I got over my whole family dying. I'm like, I don't even care anymore. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can talk about it though. So now, you know, movies coming out about it. We have a couple, but um, one of them, Zac Efron's playing my uncle Kevin. Okay. And then Jeremy Allen White is playing my dad. He was in The Bear and Shameless. Okay. Yeah. And then Lily James is playing my aunt Pam, which she played Pam Anderson, so she's going from Pam to Pam. Oh wow. And uh, that'll be out in theaters, and we'll be actually going to the Venice Film Festival next summer for the movie. Nice. Cool. And so that'll be my first time to Italy. So that's exciting. That's amazing. And I can try lots of yummy wine and tell you how much this one sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's no. okay. I like it. I do. Gro- growing <laughs> up wrestling uh, and watching <laughs> wrestling, and I don't, you know, I remember like WWE and was it WWE and then turned it. It was WWF uh, and then WWE because yeah, it was WWF. They right? w- yeah. World Wildlife Foundation oh. was like, okay, you can use our acronym, but you can't go international. Like you have to okay. stay in America. You can't. And there you can't was something take it outside. before that. Something with the WCCW. A. Okay. Was the one grand as world championship um, wrestling, and then. Uh, an A? There's other wrestling there federations was, yeah, out yeah. there. Yeah. I, I grew up in Minnesota. and they're Minnesota. I, yeah, oh, then so you're going to see Indies wrestling federations all over Minnesota. Right. So there's a lot of those. And I remember going to like, the first cage match when I was a kid. And I actually got to help bring the cage out. And they put it together. That's and exciting. I remember hanging out with the, the wrestlers in a bar. Oh, after. yeah. Oh, that's always where and, we were. And when you said put up like them up on, like I had, they had, but this one guy had my brother and I on two different arms. Oh, my dad could do that. Right. Yeah. But Sierra Awards were fine back then. But the Which Von Eric name, like, rings a bell to me, like, thinking back, like, so that, they must have been part of whatever I was watching. My husband time. and I were married for four years before I found out he had my dad's poster on his wall in wow. college. He like acted like he had no idea who our family was. He was like, and married me. And then his friend was like, yeah, you had our dad's poster on your wall. And he's like, oh yeah, oh, I forgot about that. And I was like, are you kidding me? This whole time? The whole time? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I married my stalker, but it worked out. <laughs> I remember I used to play uh, E.T. Donuts. There was an E.T. Donut shop next to the Albertsons I- on Arbalus. Yeah, I mean, they just went out of business last year. Oh, they year. did? Well, wow. when I was a kid, they had video games in there, and they had the WWF video game. It was like Hulk Hogan. And oh, Uncle oh Terry. I love yeah. him. Yeah, and I, I like literally got a, a paper route so that I could make money to play that game. Oh, like that's it was, oh that's exciting. Yeah. And a paper so route. Wow. How old are you? Like 900? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I had a paper route. In uh, in Shanna and Claire. everything cost a nickel. <laughs> yeah, well, the video games were a quarter <laughs> already. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I had a paper out. That's exciting. Yeah, that you shouldn't tell hustle. any dates or anything about I that story. Right? No, you no. just maybe dye the hair yeah. and. It was like before you were Botox. born. Botox. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'll make you look like a douchebag in no time. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I don't, I don't even need help with that. And you're, <laughs> Oh my god, I took my sister out last night. She came in from Texas. And I took her to Mastro's, and we went to Bamboo, and we were dancing. We hit teeth while we were dancing. It was a very small dance floor. <laughs> she literally... <laughs> I love She so lost? She <laughs> chipped her tooth. Because your teeth look good. So big. It oh was like damn. way up. It was like dumb and dumber. And she was like, please. <laughs> Oh, She's up. really pretty too. She's like, please do the tooth. And I was like choking, laughing on the floor. <laughs> like dying. But we fixed it today. But I What do you mean uh, you fixed it? Like we you went to it? the dinner. Oh, you, yeah. you made it sound like I just stuck oh. a chiclet on there and I was like, you're good. <laughs> Some white out. <laughs> you're good, let's go. 
<laughs> you can't true. even see it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, it was literally. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. You were able to get to a dentist today and like get Yeah, it, like, it was the only one it. open and they had availability and I'm like, That's, That's a great sign. <laughs> it was like one eight hundred dentist. <laughs> no, I go there all the time. It's fine. Yeah, so this guy fine. just showed up at the house. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. He had scrubs on from the waist down. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a real dentist's office. But yeah. <laughs> They were really great, and actually, you couldn't tell whatsoever. But um, now, now that it's over with and she's all fixed, I'm like, God, I can't. I'm so happy I get to laugh. So I felt really bad because she's like, No, you leave. I just cannot stop. I'm so evil. You really I had no her idea. A great time. Did I did. You I showed her the best time. Did you ever hang out in Deep Ellum? No, that's where like hookers and stuff oh, were when we when really? we lived in Texas. I mean, the only time I ever went to Dallas. Oh, like was Harry Deep Hines. Elm. Harry Hines, have you ever heard of Trees? There was a club called Trees that we used to play at Trees. My band used no, to play. No, because I moved to South Beach, Miami, when I turned when I was 17 years old. Oh, okay. I moved to South Beach. Yeah, like there's no hookers in South Beach. And I didn't go back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a lot of hookers. Yeah, yeah. that's how I paid rent. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Deep Ellum. I don't. Deep Ellum was like the like kind of the music part of town. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Yeah. I'm thinking Harry Hines. I just knew that when I was like 16 and we were going out, I was not allowed to go over there. Oh, so. yeah. It was probably like, yeah, it was probably yeah. pretty rough. At least 21 and older probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I, I mean, obviously I went out way before I was 21. I remember I moved to Hermosa when I first got here and I was 20. And I went to all the bars and I had so much fun all the time. That's where you met your and husband, it, right? Yes. And I, I wasn't even allowed to be in the bar we met at. And now, and then I went, when I, for my 21st birthday, we went out to all the bars. And they were like, Lazy, you're just now 21 the whole time. <laughs> like, that's on you. You never checked. <laughs> Which, so that's your job. That's funny. <laughs> so how old were you when you started, uh, you signed started the wrestling? I was mm, 20. Okay. So this is at that time. Yeah, it was two weeks after I met my husband. Okay. Yeah. What's I, the, what's I, the I process? Didn't. Well, for okay. Well, ninety-nine percent of wrestling's nepotism, and so if you're in the family, the process is here's your contract. <laughs> if you're not, uh, I'm pretty sure you like drop out of high school, and then you like probably get on the indie good, yeah. circuit, probably suck a lot of, d- and then you become a wrestler. Right. right. But, but luckily, I was in the family. <laughs> 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 But there must be a training process. Yeah, I mean, John Cena apparently was always on his knees, so now you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to kill me. <laughs> but you said you, you hadn't done it before, so like you, they must have taught Blow you. Blow jobs or Sucked wrestling? Training. Or wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling, wrestling. <laughs> um, I, so they take you to a Florida wrestling school. AEW. Maybe that's what you were thinking of. AWA. That's what it was. AWA. I think that was the... AEW is now. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. no. It's not AEW. You're right. It's something like that. It's their Florida whatever. I always just said it was our Florida WWE developmental. American Wrestling Association, I bet, is so what it was. So that's where I AWA like... It makes sense that it's in Florida, though, right? Yeah. yeah and yeah. I learned... Literally, WWE's developmental was in a canning factory. I had no air conditioning in Florida. It was humid as hell. We were all drenched wet and and there was it was disgusting. Like all the mats were soaked. Like literally you do bumps on the mats and sweat would fly up. It was so wow. freaking gross. That's awesome. That's what it should be. That's what we should be watching. <laughs> oh yeah. Well nowadays their developmental is in a beautiful place, wow. like a studio that's filmed and it's air conditioning and all the stuff. And I'm like, that is not how I had to wow. be trained. Wow. Oh my God! Do you know that um, Billy Corrigan from Smashing Pumpkins? Owns yeah, he asked me to. Oh, uh, yeah. NWA to is that the name of his? Host, but I was like, I owned a wrestling federation at the time, so I couldn't like do it. Oh. But I would do it now, like. What? What is it? I think it's called NWA. I might be making yeah, that up. No, NWA is what uh, my friend Kevin Nash owned. Can you guys look up? Uh, can you guys look up Billy Corrigan's wrestling? Federation. I always do this. I'm so bad. Um, I grew up in this, and then, but I never even watched it even when I was in wrestling. I could never. Really? Oh, I, I watched like if, if something funny was about to happen, and I knew about it. Like this one time, one of the guys at TNA wrestling. It's now Impact Wrestling on Spike. It was on Spike. I don't know where it is now. But anyway, um, one of the guys was giving the other guy shit. 
And so they got a little bit of poop. <laughs> they put it in his mask right where the nose is. Because the oh. guy never put his mask down until right when he went out because he could barely breathe. Oh. And so right when they, he puts it down, he like walks out in front of everyone. It's live. You <laughs> look like this. Like, oh, oh my God, what's yeah. that smell? So the whole time they're like wrestling, he's like, oh, what's that smell? And the backstage, we were dying, like laughing so hard. They're like, shh. <laughs> Like, be quiet. We're like, ah, like dying. That's when I would watch. <laughs> when I knew something fucking really funny was about to happen. Um, otherwise, it's like watching a magician and you know all their tricks. And yeah. you see all the flaws. You're like, oh, you pulled that rabbit out wrong. And so um, you would just, you would tour, basically? No, no, I filmed in Florida at Universal Studios every other week. Okay. Um, so they were making me the world champion. We, we did it as a group, as a world champions. We, like, we were a tag team champions. Like, I was in the beautiful people. We are like the bitches of wrestling. And I was like the dumb one, which is funny because I was valedictorian and went to Harvard and they dropped out of high school. <laughs> um, but I was, the, I was supposed to be the stupid one. And it was a really funny part to play, though. <laughs> um, and so we were a championship. But then the, we were bad guys. But the audience like loved me and they'd be like, yay, she, yay. And they were like, no, you can't do that. She's a bad guy. Uh. Because I drank with all the fans afterwards. Like I had, <laughs> oh my God, I was the life of the party. Like dance naked in the fountain and everything afterwards, <laughs> which I don't remember, but I got told this <laughs> happened. Um, so they were making me the world champion solo. And that meant I had to tour and I had a kid and I had, a fiance and I was like Ugh, I'm not going to tour around all these podunk freaking towns where they're yeah. only Applebee's for weeks at a time yeah. for the same price as, of the money that I get right now like right. you don't get a anywhere. raise Yeah. and so I was like yeah, no. touring's tough no. it's not glamorous at, I did at it all. one time and I was like oh, well touring to Australia like the Hulkamania tour I did yeah that was badass. That was yeah. five star, first class, yeah. best hotels, a thousand dollar per diem a day. Wow. Like they lost money on that tour. We because they gave us so much money. It was so great. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's where me and Terry Hulk Hogan got really close. And uh, Rick Flair, he was on that tour too. So I was his. I was Rick's because the Von Erichs and Rick Flair always had a rivalry. And so I was his like manager to be like, cause I was a bad guy on TV. So on tour, I was like the, helping him fuck with Hogan. And so we did the same spot every night where like Rick would grab me, pull me in front of him, push me in front of Hogan. I would bear hug him. Rick would punch him in the face. And, but Rick kept his gig or his blade on his middle finger. Cause he never has anyone with him. So normally, you know what a gig is, right? Like when they hit the turnbuckles, they go like this, and, and so they, blood goes and they everywhere. Cut themselves, right? Yeah. Right. Rick's forehead's fucked, but uh, Hogan's. And they is had fine. it in the tape, right? They tape it. Yeah, in they their tape hand. it. Yeah. And the little bit just sticks out, right? Right. Well, so he grabs me and pu pulls me down, and then pushes me in front of Hogan. I'm like this, and I, I'm squirting like a waterfall of blood. Oh no! Shit. Like all, they're like this. And I was like, oh, shit. And <laughs> Uncle Terry's like, it's okay, baby. Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm like, okay. Because we're in front of 20,000 people. Like, yeah. There's nothing to do. And then I have to jump up on the second rope. Jimmy Hart has to pull my clothes off. I'm in lingerie. And then I have to jump on Hogan and put him in a headlock and lay down in the ring. Uh -huh. And my blood's going. He's all bloody because he already did his gigging thing. And I was like, you better not have AIDS. And he's like, <laughs> I don't, baby girl. I don't have AIDS. Like, all these people are watching this amazing match. And little do they know, we're bleeding and saying, you better not have AIDS. <laughs> like, <laughs> Then, okay, so the story's not over. I run backstage to the ambulance, and I'm like, can you please fix me up? And they're like, we're fake. <laughs> we're taking Rick, didn't even have a oh, band aid. Yeah. They were oh, taking really? Rick away in the ambulance. And I was like, oh my God. We're so I had to. Fake ambulance. They, it was can a we fake get a ambulance. Real ambulance <laughs> no, yeah, can we get a real ambulance? No, they, didn't, they don't do that in wrestling. Uh. No, like, if when I got a concussion, which was a lot, <laughs> I've had 14 plus. They would be like, uh, have a beer, take a nap. <laughs> so like the <laughs> opposite things you yes, should do, right? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so I go, I, I have to get a sweater and I have to tie it around my arm because it won't stop bleeding. And I go to the hotel and I'm like, do you all have a Band-Aid or like uh, something to butterfly this with? Yeah. 
and they're like, uh, yeah, we have some band-aids. <laughs> so they give me a band-aids and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna figure out how to make this <laughs> like this <laughs> with this. <laughs> so I go to my room and I open up the mini bar and I grab out a vodka and I'm like, I chugged it. And then I grabbed another one and I poured it on it and I just go, fuck, like as loud as I could. Like a whole a freaking hotel heard me. And then I had to get the ends of the band-aids and cut them and then squeeze it together and butterfly it up. And so now it's this puffy little weird vagina scar on my arm. And Rick was like, I'll fix it. And I'm like, hell no, because then I get to tell this story. So I've never fixed it. I love scars. Nice. They're the best. So, so did he used to fix his scar? Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, you obviously can't fix scars. You look like a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in a lot of fights. <laughs> That's crazy. I did I did hear a lot about like the taping and the cutting and Yeah. Yeah. It's a real thing. It is. I mean and some of the guys would do like real tack matches, like Mick Foley. He's the best. He does stand up comedy and stuff now. Hmm. He's got a lot of material because of wrestling. Um, so a lot, is a lot of this in the in the movie that's coming up? Did you get Did you get a chance to like? Talk I was with the on writers set, and so I got to meet, meet Zach, and he put him in this like weird wig to make it look like he has long hair, like my uncle's did. So, and then he had a sty in his eye, so it was all swollen and gooing. And yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm thinking 17 again. This is, this is hilarious. Like, I was dying. <laughs> yeah, he was so much shorter. My uncles are like giants. Like, you go around that and they're like, Huge. wow. Yeah, it's a it's a presence. Yeah. And Zach was like this big. And I was like, oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> okay. So are y'all just like casting very short people to like make them look really big? And I guess they said yes. So. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. I know. He was nice, though. And so, yeah, I did get to go film. Um, they were like, you're going to get a kick out of this. So we go in to this, like, warehouse that they created the Sportatorium in Dallas. That's where, like, my family started wrestling and where I grew up. They created it in this warehouse. Like, it looks verbatim, like, the, yeah. the Sportatorium. And then you go upstairs, it's my granddad's office that was there, like, made it with the mallard ducks and the wooden desks and the oh, old wow. phone and the rolodex and the like all this stuff i was just like Ugh. so they're like yeah your sister cried really hard when she saw this room and i was like oh cool fucking assholes <laughs> anyway and then when i saw zach i was like where's jeremy i want to meet jeremy, the guy playing my dad and he was like oh your family's already or your dad's already dead like in that scene wow. and i was like oh cool <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. God, y'all realize like what you're saying, right? <laughs> right. It's like they think like we're fables, like it's right, not real. Right. <laughs> like I'm a real person. <laughs> they all really did die, and uh, this is awkward. But thanks for making the movie. Like I'm super excited about the premiere. But then I told my sister, like, oh shit, we have to watch it. Right. Yeah. I don't think I'm going have to. You seen it? Who? Who? Who no, was? Uh, I saw parts of it. And they did. Can you amazing. request request to see it before it premieres? I think so. Who did yeah. they? Who did they talk to Blow to get the, right the story? People. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't have to. After like a family. But I mean, where, where did they get the just? If they just you get information, it? yes. If yeah, you okay. do that, then if they didn't realize we would talk to them and help them and give them info. They didn't realize that, huh. and so now they know that, and they're like, oh. <laughs> So, and there's like some things that like they were getting wrong. Right. When I and I was watching one part where the whole crowd is like giving their tickets and going into the sportatorium on a scene and I was like you realize this is not the crowd right it was a very different crowd their crowd was all like beautiful put together in uh. 70s clothes I was like no 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 and they're like well it's a movie let's make everyone pretty I'm like oh okay so <laughs> that's why I didn't get to be in it <laughs> <laughs> who made this movie do you know? His name is Sean. I don't remember his last name, but Do it's... Do you know what studio? Yes, A23 or something. Oh, yeah. Can you just look it up? I don't know. Yeah, A23. They I think it's A23, that. yeah. Do you know, like, sometimes people ask me stories about my granddad or my dad, and I just Google A24. it? A24. A24? Yeah. You're close. Wow. I owe you one. <laughs> I'm picturing the logo, actually, and I was like... Yeah, no, I've seen it a bunch of times. Right. I think, I feel like, the whale... 
They did the whale. Did you see the whale? Oh no, my but God. it looked really it? funny. It, it looks looked funny. Just the the poster. The oh, guy's like looks funny. like he looks like he's in a fat it's suit. Brendan Fraser. I know. Which he what is he like not? Five hundred pounds. Wait, I thought he was in a fat suit. It, it's it's definitely he gained a bunch of weight <laughs> and then they also like CGI him. It was called the whale, and I just every time I saw the yeah, poster, I laughed so hard. I never yeah. saw the trailer though. Yeah. So what's it about? It's about a guy who literally is trying to commit suicide by. Ooh, sign me up. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to kill himself by eating himself to death. That like he's horrible. he's just eating till he kills himself. He should probably just sit in his car with the garage. Yeah, closed. there's easier ways to do it. <laughs> yeah, and less expensive. He could watch our movie to learn more ways on how to kill yeah, yourself. You should totally give him a. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's the only way I cope with my sadness. <laughs> Don't edit any of these parts okay, out. Okay, we'll leave all this. <laughs> for sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, but his daughter is such an asshole. Yeah, that's why he wanted to kill himself. He's like, God, yeah. I hate my daughter. He bailed on her, and she turned that's into why an my asshole. Dad it was did his it. fault that she was I'm an just asshole. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little asshole six-year-old. He was like, Pfft. oh, God, God, I got to edit that shit out. <laughs> yeah, take that out. <laughs> um, hey, can we get the, the drinks? The, the drinks? Yeah. yeah. I only like when people are like upset about it. If someone's just laughing, I'm like, I look for the person that's the most uncomfortable well, and then yeah, play Lacey's to them the being whole time. Very, you're being very controlled right now. Normally, like, you're being very, like, chill right now. It's interesting. Oh, I did. Yeah, take normally you're like. A gummy. <laughs> oh, you did? Is that why? I did. Okay. Are my pupils yeah. okay? <laughs> you no, know, I, yeah, I would have never known. But yeah, you're being very tame. This is me this tame. This is tame for you, yeah. Well, you did see me the other night where our. I yeah, was, yeah, you were on 12. But I also didn't night. have, like, footage of proof Yeah, we weren't filming it. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Nobody I mean, I think every time I've hung out with you, you've been in the 12 range. I'm Von Eric. We know how to party. Yeah, you party. We party so yeah. hard, we die. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I'd say I, we're the life of the party, that. but not anymore. <laughs> this is terrible. Could that be a new saying? The death of the party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you're killing me! Oh, <laughs> we're like we're venturing into dad jokes. Mor I used to morbid say that dad jokes. When people wouldn't come party with me after the wrestling match, I'd be like, "Well, I am a Von Eric. If you don't come, I'll kill myself." <laughs> They're oh like, my God. "Lazy, no!" <laughs> and they always came. They were so scared. <laughs> How long did you wrestle? Oh my God, like ten years. Oh, it was ten years. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And then I owned it, and then I was a host of it. What do you mean you owned it? I owned SWE Fury. It was, it was international. And then um, my my partner was a little. I don't know. I just felt like the whole thing was going to collapse because people were unstable. Um, and I was like, oh my god, I had a meeting with the wrestlers on how to do your taxes, and they're like, she don't speak our language, so like, because they wouldn't pay taxes, like. They, wouldn't let me do direct deposit because they need to pay cash because they don't pay taxes oh. and all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, guys. Like, you have to be grown-ups. Like, what? and they did not like it. Yeah. You're blocking my pretty face. <laughs> well, if they didn't do their yeah. taxes, that'd probably be cause a problem for you mm. with your taxes. No, that's yeah, what I was, I was more concerned no about joke, that. Yeah? Exactly. Right. Yeah. And I, that's and having why. having employees is crazy. Well, I've yeah. owned seven companies. So I retired when I was 35 because I owned an advertising company, I owned a production company, I owned a kids camp, I had that, I had Lacey Loans, a mortgage company, like I had it all. And so, and then I went to Harvard for entrepreneur, like to yeah. learn more about entrepreneurship. I studied entrepreneurship in college too. You did? Not at Harvard, but I did. Ew. <laughs> 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 Who invited the poor guy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was St. Thomas. It was the you know the Harvard of the Midwest. So <laughs> no one knows what Midwest means. You don't? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, Did you go? To, are you a Bruin? Did you go? No, to I Australia? actually used to live in Michigan, and it was my favorite place I've ever lived. I lived in Kalamazoo. Mm. You were saying? You're a Bruin. Did you go to UCLA? No, my husband yeah. did, okay. and it's they're playing basketball tonight. Okay. And I know I get laid if I like dress up for it. Perfect. Yeah, don't tell my husband. I won't. Thank you. <laughs> that I get I mean, laid. I, 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 I caught that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him wearing UCLA shirt as well. So. Yeah, he loves his UCLA. We just went out to the 
a basketball game and I made this because I don't wear t-shirts. I just, I don't think I look good in them and I just don't like them. And so I made this jersey. I made this Letterman's jacket and I told Grant, let's do an over under. Like I bet I get over 10 compliments okay. and men don't count because men are gross. And so he, uh, he was like, all right, before I left the hotel, I got women asking, where do I buy that? So yeah. now, now I'm putting it on Etsy. Nice, nice. Yeah, I even made a little patch. This is Lacey. Well, I saw that. I was going to ask, how, do you, Lacey, how do you get that done? Etsy. <laughs> okay. You have to buy the shit off Etsy. So, then, then I then put it together. It. <laughs> then I sell it. <laughs> so normally we do, uh, normally we do some, like, I will absolutely do it. No, nope. this is no, I want this to. is not none of this. I is don't beer. care. They're not beers. Oh, they're ciders, kombuchas, sweet, sours, etc. All your, all your stuff that tastes like it was poured out of a boot. That's my favorite. Yeah, we're just gonna taste <laughs> some stuff. I'm so excited, actually. Hey, uh, thanks for doing that. I yeah. my third child made me allergic to gluten, which took a very long time to figure out what it was because doctors just refused to test you for that. Interesting. So someone had told me about a gluten allergy. It became like a fad. And right. thank goodness it did because when I became gluten free, all the breads, everything tasted like glue. Right. And now they're so good. Like the I fad kind of caused a problem though. My wife's gluten free too, my daughter. And uh, so, so many people are like, oh, this is a fad. She's like, no, like I don't want to wake up after I have like gluten. <laughs> like, yeah. and so I think yeah. it actually caused some, you know, the fad where some people are like, oh, I'm gluten free sometimes. And they're like, no, you're not gluten free. Oh, yeah. Free. So like, they always ask thing. me, like, is it an allergy? And I'm like, yes, who would do this otherwise? Right. Yeah. Like, flour tortillas is my saddest thing of my life that I had to give up. Like, burritos were breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Corn tortilla is not the same. It's not. A soggy chip? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's test stuff. All right, let's just taste some stuff. This Wait, is called. Wait, give me uh, the first one. The first one is the tea. Okay. Which is this guy, upper left. This is called uh, Weekend Friend by June Shine. It's weekend. I prefer the weekend. It's a kombucha. Cheers. Quote that. Lovely to have you. Lovely to have me too. <laughs> Ooh, it's very floral so far, but not yeasty. But not yeasty. Right. Wow, we this is like me and my youth. We should start a band. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we should start a hip-hop band called the Yeasty Boys. I love it. We <laughs> 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 just wear giant bread costumes. <laughs> this yeah. is so good. That's so good. This, this good. tastes like liquid flowers. Yeah. Pretty this delicious. Is June Chine? June Chine, Boochcraft. Oh my god. This oh, one. so you don't I'm make sorry. it. I said June. I, I, like, I didn't mean to say Boochcraft. Like I meant to say kombucha. Companies. Yes, exactly. This is Boochcraft. Oh, yeah. First one is June Chine. Sorry, slobbered. June Chine is really good. And what flavor? That's just a. That's just called Weekend Friend. I don't know what what the flavors are in there, but yeah. So there's some flowery. It taste is floral. In that one, I don't for sure. see why it's your friend on the weekend, though. That seems more like your Monday friend. I don't know. You could kind a of weekend friend tastes like tequila. Your weekend friend, you get. It's all happy and flowery, and then you're like, now nah, I gotta go to work, so leave me alone. Oh, I guess so, like a Stevie Nicks concert. <coughs> Got it. Right. Are you guys excited that we're gonna be having uh, liquor here soon? Yeah, liquor in the front, poker in yeah, the rear. We're about to have all that. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna help poster <laughs> poker. You are? Oh, yeah. yeah. I just did one the other night with like 10 How guys. Come you didn't invite me? Because we only have 10 spaces at my poker I, table, I'm, and it was I'm, full. I'm. I'm and you were probably working at your beer place. That you know? Uh, no, you're probably like the 16. <laughs> so you could have got called if yeah, everyone was sick. Like based, <laughs> based on John doing our, our beer challenge thing that we do on yeah. the show. Was Omid there? Did Omid go to this poker game? No. Nope. He's Damn. 17th. <laughs> no. Wow. It sounds like you're one ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. After you feed me alcohol. Yeah. Okay. This one is Boochcraft. No, I really like it. I tried this it already. Passion Sorry. Fruit and Blood Orange. Mm. It does taste like that. Exactly. I really like that one. I though. love it. I like yeah. both of those. Those Normally are both so good. They, they, the kombuchas have gotten less vinegary. Remember, they used to be super vinegary. Booty. In the it literally always tastes yeah. like it was poured out of a boot. Yeah, they were boot. always mm. yeah yucky. Mm. They're so yeah. good now. I always called it boot crap. Okay, this one is a seltzer. <laughs> All right. Okay, think cactus cooler. <laughs> Remember cactus think cooler? High school. Do you remember, yeah. They do. Shmirnoff ice days. 
Ooh, I love that. <laughs> it's called. Why does everything taste so good? Succulent sipper. Oh my god! But it's yeah, like, it is. It's like it's, it's a little like, bit more orangey than. Um, Ooh, it doesn't smell good though. It tastes yeah. good. It tastes amazing. It tastes like cactus cooler, right? It smells weird. It's a little more orangey than cactus cooler. It looks like urine after a rough weekend. Very dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I need to go to the doctor. All right. That's, That's pretty much what pretty it always looks like. Well. <laughs> okay, and this is also a seltzer. This is. Uh, this also looks like my urine once a month. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's called your. Never mind. All right. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Cherry you know, blossom lime. No, if we didn't get lime. that, you wouldn't be alive. So. Cherry blossom lime. Cherry blossom lime. Got it. This is. This it's time to be serious. Is this yours? No. Ooh, it smells so good. The nose is good on this one. This is mm. by uh, Boulevard Brewing. Oh, it's it called. It smells Quark. like a candy. Yeah, you don't have to. I I see that. I see you over there. <gasps> no, he made sure yeah. everything was gluten free. Yeah, there's no beers. It's. Uh, I see her texting me. She's like. Okay. No gluten. Yes. And then we have pizza <gasps> coming. I love this. Yeah. Do you like that? You it's, like that? It's <laughs> it's cherry <laughs> blossom lime. I love this. Yeah, we have that one often. Right, and then we have a pizza coming that's our gluten free and also dairy free. You said dairy free. Yeah, yeah, I'm only dairy free if you don't like farting. Yeah. But if you like farts, then give me that dairy. <laughs> <laughs> so we did it. We so did you did it. dairy free. Okay. <laughs> dairy free. So now we know your answer. Got it. <laughs> I mean, you didn't tell me that before. I mean, I think I'd be okay with the farts, but I also. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, you have not <laughs> tested dairy farts. Okay, so I almost landed a plane. This is a real story. So I was in first class in seat one. So it's next to the bathroom, the first class bathroom, right? So I had dairy the night before, and at 5.30 I had spin class, and it was so bad that people behind me at spin class were like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> It was like a very thick cloud that, like, it wasn't a fart that you're like, woo. No, it was like a seepage, like a, like a sewer seepage. It never stopped. And it, like, burns your butt, and, like, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm like, shit, hopefully I can take some gas X and I'll, I'll get on the plane and it'll be fine. So I get on the plane and I go to sleep immediately like I always do. And I wake up to the airline guy, like the, the flight attendant guy being like, yes, we're checking to see if there's a leak in the bathroom. We have gone under the plane and if there's a leak, we're going to have to land. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to tell them it's me. I cannot believe this right now. Because they're like, yeah. It's not over here. It's not back there. It's right here. <laughs> it's like, under the seat. <laughs> <laughs> the call is coming from inside the house. Luckily, by the time they like checked everything, they we were too close to Dallas that they were going to land. And I was like, oh, thank God. But so bad because I was the first one off the plane. I wanted to turn around and be like, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That was a real story. My sister made me tell that story like seven times when I landed. She's like, tell them. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm about to get real used to this story. I have no shame. I don't care. I'm already married and happy. And so y'all can all be grossed out. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> no dare. <laughs> <laughs> More of the story is take that cheese off the pizza. <laughs> John has a similar problem. I don't know if he's taken a plane down. (laughs) (laughs) It was close. I kind of wish it did. Uh, Like I I did win. I know. Like I wish I had to like tell him. Like, so I have IBS. It's gonna have to land. It's a medical condition. (laughs) Don't land the plane. Do you think people always had these problems, or is this just more often people have it? Oh my god, my grandpa. He's like so red. He's so swollen, and he just thinks he's old. And I, he's like, I don't have any allergies. And I'm like, oh, my God, look at you. You, you have allergies. They just think they got fat and red because yeah. they're old. Mm. No, you yeah. are inflamed yeah. and fat yeah. because you're allergic to everything you're eating. You're shoving it in. And <laughs> yeah. Don't care. I'm fine. I just need to eat better. Yeah. Cut out the dairy. <laughs> fart. He literally always gets up and he's like, <laughs> on his way to the bathroom. Like, <laughs> just always walking by. And he just thinks I don't hear him. I'm like, I hear it. Yeah. But, I mean, I'd rather hear it than smell it because my farts don't smell or don't Same. sound like anything. Oh, no, they smell. Oh. It's the worst. That's way worse. Where it's like, oh, my God. 
<laughs> like, You're silent but deadly. I am. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah. It, it just breathes out. It just goes. <laughs> Everyone else like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do that. And my sneezes actually scare everybody. I'm like, ah! and they're out of my mouth. So if I have anything in my mouth, it goes flying across the table. I'm actually really gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh, clears up that segment of the show. Mm. Yeah. That John always asks, you know, try to get all the gross stuff out. So yeah, oh, we, got it we hit it. We hit oh, it. sorry. How'd you know that? I didn't mean to. Uh, no, you, no, you, you, you were right on. That was like the fourth thing on the list, and I, <laughs> I did it first. This is the part <laughs> where we say, "Call in the chef." Oh, we got food. Chef, this is chef. Hi, chef. Hi, chef. What's your name? Just chef. Chef. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's Chef Ivan. So chef is that Ivan. real? Was that real cheese? Yes. All right, I can vegan actually cheese. sleep in my own bed tonight. Basically, it's a gluten-free vegan carnivore pizza. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. Special. Special for me. But Thank our you. our gluten-free pizza is so good. It's, it's the so best good. crust it's I've ever it's had. It's the best, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do y'all make the crust? Do you make the crust? Where do you buy it? We can't tell you. It's top secret. Okay, Somebody makes it for us. We we make camera? our own w- yes we make our own <laughs> dough our regular pizza dough yeah just not the gluten free one, one. The gluten free one it's yeah yeah it's this one of my very favorites special. yeah, yeah it's thanks really chef really good. thank you chef um so we want to we want you to try it and of we want to get will. we want to get your you know I have tried this several times because I love it so much though right <laughs> yeah. but I can't wait to try it but we've it. never had you try it eat more. it on camera help yourself. I'm having the most eaty one, the one with all the meat. Yeah. Oh, I guess I get both of these. Ha <laughs> ha. You can have all of them. Oh my god! Like I don't want your gluten dairy free pizza. Gross. <laughs> no, I, <I'm laughs> had gluten free oh, pizza last night. You did? Why? Because yeah. you're a wife. My wife had it left over from something. It's like you ate my only food in the house. I just kind of like that. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a challenge. Yeah, it's a dick for move. the whole family. <laughs> yeah. No, they had a lot extra actually. This is so good. You don't know, right? I mean, you probably yes. do. I do. I don't know. Well, it's funny because I, I'm allergic to cow milk, but I'm not allergic to goat or sheep. Me neither. Yeah, so I eat goat. Like at home, we call it daddy's cheese. Like goat cheese and stuff. The goat cheese is daddy's cheese. Yeah, I like cheese. that on salad. Yeah, I eat lots of goat cheese. Um, we had a goat growing up, and my Aunt Pam, she would milk the goat. She'd try to, like, put it in our cereal as if we wouldn't know. And we'd be like, ah, it's goat milk, we know. Yeah, and she goat was milk like, and ah, cereal's not good. You can't, you can't taste it. <laughs> well, I guess we can, and it's warm. It's <laughs> not even, like, fermented or, oh, like, cleaned. Goat. Like, right what? out of the tit. Oh, yeah, you literally just milked <laughs> the, you know, the one goat we had. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> we know it's we know it's the goat. We know that's Nancy, Aunt Ma'am. <laughs> I don't want Nancy's titty all over my cereal. <laughs> I want the nice clean white stuff. Yeah, and why are my Cheerios brown? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more better alternatives now. Like, I think almond milk. I'm so used to almond milk now. I like oat milk. You like mm-hmm. oat milk? My it daughter does like oat milk. It tastes like milk the bottom of your cereal bowl that you like drink afterwards that's right. what oat milk tastes like to me i'm just losing all my toppings we'll get you more toppings well i'm used to my dog being around so i just drop food everywhere and she just comes and cleans it up she i, I should have named her roomba yeah roomba that's a good name for a dog mm-hmm. we named her dodger dog the dodger fans the dodgers Woo! <laughs> I had a babysitter when I was little. Her mom was sign language, or was sign language. <laughs> she was. Are you sign language? <laughs> she, she didn't hear me, so. You don't hear me, though. I was like the other day. I was at um, Masters Ocean Club, and Stevie Wonder was there. I swear to God, this isn't a joke. <laughs> and I took like a selfie with them, and they were like, "Do selfies." I was like, "He doesn't know." <laughs> no, I looked at me like I'm such a dick. <laughs> kind of our deck. <laughs> <laughs> but he still doesn't know. He didn't. And he still, still doesn't, doesn't know. Yeah. To this day, 
Like, take all the selfies you want. And just don't touch him. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. I'm like, show me your dick. And he's just like, so happy. <laughs> when I was in the sixth grade, there was a teacher at, uh, Serenos. at uh, no, Weathersfield. Back then, uh, junior high school was seventh and eighth grade. Oh, okay. And wow. the elementaries went all the way to sixth grade. That, and again, I'm aging myself because I was like in the, you know, in the thirties, right? Mm-hmm. No, you're 900 years old. <laughs> 900. Yeah. We'll do the math on 1830s. that later. The 1830s. Yeah. So, back in the day, mm-hmm. sixth grade was still part of elementary school. I went to Weathersfield. There was a teacher named Mr. Hoseman. Um, my philosophy on Mr. Hoseman was that, like, when, like, Hitler, like, ducked out and they hid him and they brought him to Thousand Oaks and then he became a sixth grade teacher. That was oh. Mr. Hoseman. Oh, interesting. Now we all know yeah. the truth. Um, <laughs> oh. Mustache gave it away, huh? It explains a lot about you. <laughs> it does, yeah, <laughs> that, I had mis- that I had Hitler for my sixth grade teacher. <laughs> yes. Now I understand a lot more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, did Hitler teach you sixth grade? <laughs> he did. <laughs> but he hated me. <laughs> I think uh, maybe there's like... That's a positive thing. Yeah. Yeah, I th- yeah exactly. That's like, right. I'm so sad. Hitler hates me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler doesn't like me. Well, that's weird because you have blue eyes. and um, yeah, but Maybe I, you were blonde back in the day. No one knows. No, I wasn't. <laughs> it's just white now. <laughs> 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 but anyways, <laughs> he hated me, and um, you cried. I never cried. Yeah, you do. You cry out every ever. night. Ever, I still <laughs> cry. Um, but anyways, he hated me, and then they had this thing where there was like an art thing, and he was not like an art guy at all. So he, there was no art ass- assignments at this point. But they had this thing where they were gonna pick like five kids from each to class. model nude to go to <laughs> Newbury Park High School and take an, a, an art class with a high school teacher. So they had like a contest to see who oh, I know what you're talking about. was the good art student or whatever. And so it was like either like you can like draw a picture you can do like... You just did a swastika. You can do a <laughs> Yes, I won! <laughs> so I, it, had, it had to be an, Ameri- to an American you president. You your audience. Right, an American president, not a German fear. <laughs> not a German dictator? Um, huh. But anyways, and so I, everyone came in and like pretty much everyone did like they cut out like a black Hat. Construction paper. And did Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, right. Oh my God! And so they did like. Been there, done that. So I got you just like. Did a giant I had my mom get me like, for like ten pounds of clay, <laughs> and I did a bust of Abraham Lincoln, and I came in. It was just like. What do you mean a bust? A bust, like a. I did a full sculpture of his face. Like. Oh my God. Okay, so you yeah. didn't have to like. You weren't constrained to construction paper. You no, could do I whatever just, you wanted. You could do that whatever was artistic. You wanted. Exactly. So you could have done went, Abraham Lincoln's dick. Could have. With a little tiny top hat on top. <laughs> Very with, a, with a little <laughs> little beard, no mustache. <laughs> I, I, They're like, uh, why is there a top hat? Because it's the head. <laughs> <laughs> but clearly, I was the winner. There was no... It was undeniable. That's because I wasn't there, but yeah. Yes. Um, or risk. So I got... <laughs> risk it yeah. <laughs> So I got into the program, and it made him just so angry oh no that's oh. He was awesome so fucking pissed. i love that and then we got to go to Red park high school and they had they had <coughs> vending machines and they had cactus cooler. i'm sorry all that shit was to <laughs> say that newbury park has vending machines and i had, it was the first time i ever tried cactus cooler oh my god and I went to really this it was sunny out like oh my god <laughs> you're the worst storyteller thank you you should have a podcast <laughs> <laughs> hey, I could go. La- I could go. You should layers. have started at your birth and then <laughs> ended there. there I mean, there's layers to the story, but I'm trying to. I was trying to. I'm an onion. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh my god, you're like my husband. He wanted to tell how, how he, he was sitting on his wallet the other day and how it made an imprint on his butt. I don't know why. And he started at the Dodger game. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, just say you were saying, yeah, or no one gives a shit. How about that one? <laughs> no one fucking cares. 
Wait, what's on your butt? Not even me. I'm sorry. This is so good. I'm salivating. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. <laughs> Shortcakes, check the tash. Oh, that's so good. Jeez, the bacon on it. It really makes the pizza. I never put bacon on the pizza. More certain, stuff should have bacon on it. Certain think chefs, uh, part of his specialty is his bacon. Mm-hmm. The secret it is weapon. A secret weapon. If you walk in here in the morning, when you're walking up Tarantula, it just smells like bacon. Mm. Oh, you have bacon. So much bacon and every semen. day. Semen. Yeah. <laughs> There's sailors here. Different reasons. <laughs> Getting the bacon. There's <laughs> bacon in like almost everything. Oh my god. This is my favorite pizza. Bacon beer. We have bacon and ice cream. Yeah. Do you have a bacon beer? We, I put bacon in ice cream. That's a great mm. idea. Yeah. I do the, uh, an ice cream called the Elvis. Oh, you, it's just like you eat it and then die on the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's loaded up with crushed up Vicodin. <laughs> John dies on it because of the because of the oh, allergy. Or you should say that only eat on toilet. <laughs> it's peanut butter, jelly, and bacon. Mm. I, I, that's a great idea. Yeah, I don't like ice cream. But he used to fly to. Um, <laughs> we know why yeah. now. Yeah, it would be <laughs> devastating if you had ice cream. <laughs> We, For you, we could. Everyone likes to I'll smell their own brand. You know, you know what? <laughs> I'll make you the uh, a vegan Elvis. Really? Yeah. I'm but I make, hate peanut butter. Oh. And jelly. But you, you know, you know that he used and to bacon. No, I love bacon. I just want just what's, your bacon. what's your favorite ice cream? Creamy bacon. What's your favorite ice cream? What's your favorite ice okay, cream? Okay, this flavor? is gonna sound stupid because. Before, but, you, but before you became a, a <laughs> weapon of mass destruction. I was 90 in my past life, and it was butter pecan. Butter pecan? I okay, I'm going to make good. you a vegan butter pecan. Like my like grandma that. loved butter pecans, all she had. Yeah. And I would sneak it in her freezer. This is pecans and caramel? Be like, where's my butter like pecan? What, what no, was it's your, not caramel. Um, I don't think there's What was caramel. your wrestling name? Lacey Von Eric. Oh, was? You didn't have, like... <laughs> you idiot. She had the Von Eric. Thanks she for looking me up before this. So, like... <laughs> no, I know, wait, but... Wait, so you're really bad at stories and you don't up. do your research on your We did, guests. but I didn't know if you had some other, like... Great idea. <laughs> this shit's going viral. <laughs> <laughs> you just went by your name. Yeah, you because you didn't my have, family's like, badass. Why would I do anything I know, anything but, like, else? you didn't have, like, Lacey Von Eric, the the... The fart machine. The fucking <laughs> <laughs> the weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> the plane W M D. Okay. All right. No. L V E. Gas mask. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a vegan butter pecan, and we'll call it. We'll name it after you. Will you add bacon? Oh, that's amazing. I do think pecans and bacon yeah. are delicious. Candied like, maple, well, candied bacon it. with candy butter yes. pecan. Oh, maple. Oh, yes. we're on to something. It will be LVE with like a yeah, big LV. heart in the middle. I'll say love. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just, that's the only time I could like really get y'all my burp in loud form. Yeah, it was one of Perfect everyone. timing. Please don't Please edit that out. timing was perfect. I, <laughs> I can't for, wait for the next person to get this mic. <laughs> 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 the fuck? It's going to smell like the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just spit it. I was gonna spit it. <laughs> actually, that, actually, we got them mixed up. That's mine. <laughs> yeah. Now Sorry, there's Josh. sounds from down oh. under. Oh jeez. No. I was actually gonna spit my mic earlier because I think I was thinking I don't think we got these on right today. But, uh, we might switch now. Oh man. I just burped again, but I did it over here. Thank you. <laughs> I feel so bad now. God, why does my muff sink? And I'm like, story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, someone's cut off. I should totally wow. know what I'm Good doing. Good thing you don't own hey. a winery or anything. <laughs> oh, that. I always thought it'd be good to have a little glass and a gluten-free pizza. Yeah. Me too. You know what this is missing? <laughs> Shards of glass. <laughs> That'll be the name of the ice cream. This is suicide pizza. Shards of glass. <laughs> what? Oh, jeez, another one broke too. Damn. Oh, someone else did that. <laughs> did that just happen right now too? I don't, that was I earlier? I don't know. I think my foot did it. Y'all don't, y'all don't. Oh, uh, that was your, yeah, that was your uh, that earlier was, one. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that makes sense. Oh, maybe it was. I and it was wow, a, you have a really good memory. I hate that you're gonna remember everything I, I said tonight. I thought it was tonight. in the bar. Man, I'm, I actually, I'm the only one that hasn't broke a glass on this episode. I hate when I wake up in the morning and I had a really fun night, but I had a best friend, Alexis Jeffrey, <laughs> who literally filmed my worst moments and likes to send them to me. Be <laughs> like, remember when you danced on this table? And I'm like, I hate. If I don't remember, I don't want footage. I don't want anyone else to remember. Stop filming me, <laughs> Well, she's not filming this time. We are. We have like yeah. five cameras yeah. going. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. No, I'll, I'll remember all of this. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Yo, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something wrong because I haven't broke anything like the rest of you guys. So that's cool. The night we is young. Time. The, night, the is young. night is young. Yeah, and I was not feeling it tonight either. Like I had so much fun with my sister after I made her, um, you know, ugly. Um, <laughs> and I, w- I cannot drink two days in a row. Like, literally can't. Like, my body's like, nope, let's do a bath and a soup and sleep. <laughs> and, I hear you. but this is like, made me like really happy. Cool. Y'all are eating. You're, you're not drinking yours. I, I smashed the fucking, I was having I'm a flashback until you destroyed my life. And when I was talking about my sixth grade experience. Oh, your Hitler experience. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone should have one of those. <laughs> it's like, it's just a shower. Get in. <laughs> I know it's not a shower. <laughs> okay, that part we got to cut. You'll be fine. <laughs> so under the floorboards. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is terrible. Ant- okay. Isn't anti-Semitic like super in right now? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone's doing it. Kanye. Yeah, Kanye. Um, John Cena. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's gonna kill me again. <laughs> I'm canceled. Um, okay, so let's. We're gonna talk about this part. Um, oh my God, it's gonna get serious. Yeah, we're gonna get yeah. serious on some motherfucker right now. <laughs> oh no. Are you ready? Good thing you put alcohol in there. Yeah. Now we're gonna talk about little infants being killed with cancer. <laughs> 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 we're gonna talk about tool. Tools. Yeah, tools. So your mom? What <laughs> 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 a bitch. <laughs> okay. I shouldn't say that about your mom. <laughs> Let's get off mom's because I just got off yours. <laughs> That's a good one. I bet um, you're, never mind. What? Go ahead. Nothing. No. So tool. It's cool. So tool is theory of overall logic. Okay. And the idea is this, like, as you go through your life, you learn things, and you kind of put these tools in your toolbox, right, John? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have tools in your toolbox, and we're trying to basically explore things. I mean, obviously, you are a mother, an amazing mother. You have a bunch of beautiful children. I don't know where they are, but I'm sure they're doing great. They're What's safe. that, Fresh Brothers right when now? When they're like, <laughs> you ruined my life, you're never there. And I'm like, how was I ruin your life? I was never there. <laughs> <laughs> Tool but number one. In reality, yeah, totally. I know I'm always there. Okay, go no, ahead. No, but basically, like, kind of the art of teaching children common sense seems to be lost currently. You know what I mean? I kept my Texas roots, so I feel like I definitely helped them with that. Yeah. Like so, so what? What specifically are you teaching? Like, like are, are you making a concerted effort to teach them common sense? I think so. I mean, yeah. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but in yeah, but life, like, yeah, I like think so. You know, I mean, obviously, like aside from like, you know, taking Give me an care example of, of what you've well, done. like you're taking care of their basic needs, right? You make sure that they're fed and that they have clothes and that they get to school and all that stuff, right? And they have but to like have their chores done. Yeah. My teenager but does his own laundry. Okay, what, what well, was that's some of the those are things, right? Recent, like, ad, uh, maybe like when your kid's having like a challenge with something, what kind of advice have you given them recently? You should just slap them on the side of the head, call them a retard. Okay. That always helps. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I just go like by like Billy Madison rules. If if he did it, then I do it to them. What What are you <laughs> doing to t- to set them up for success? Okay. Besides the retard. Yeah, um, what What are, what are, <laughs> what are they learning? 
I think, I think that Grant. This I think is the that segment when you feel like shit. Potentially the one that's, that's giving him the lessons. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me think. No, but you got this. You're like a. I stopped breastfeeding. A very when he successful, was 10. a successful <laughs> woman. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, what are you teaching them about success? Like, how how are you teaching them? You're like, you're an entrepreneur. You you're highly educated. You're all these things, like. Well, I mean, are they just are they just gaining it by osmosis? Well, in reality, I am always at their school, so I'm part of the PTA, and then I volunteer in the kids' class, and I'm I was the PE teacher at Westlake Elementary, nice. so I was there every day. But I actually felt like I was traumatizing all the kids. I'd call them fart heads and tell them they were doing terrible, <laughs> and so I I don't do it anymore. Um, <laughs> But I, I act like my uncles did. I, I feel like it's common sense where I don't, like, coddle them. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you acting like that? Like, why is yeah. this? Like, I, I feel like I do common sense where it's like, stop being a dick, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, Kind of reality check. Like a reality check. I feel like I've done that their whole lives. Yeah. And I, my 16-year-old is one of the coolest kids I've ever met. And he describes me to his friends, like, this is my mom and my best friend. Still does it. I can't right. believe it. That's and awesome. That's not common. Oh, yeah. I know. And, you know, the only thing that's bad about it is that he tells me everything. Like, it was really cute when he had his first kiss in eighth grade, and he called me immediately. Like, it just happened. He had to run away just to call me. Like, boom. Just had my first kiss. But I had him on speaker, and all my girlfriends and I were out. <laughs> and they were all laughing. And we were like, oh, that's so cute. He was like, mom. And I was like, oh, shit. So I had to earn that trust back for like a year. But no, then but okay. when he turned 15, he was like, I need condoms. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, what? Wow. He was like, no, no, no. I just need them, like, just in case. Yeah. And then I have the talk. Like, all right, let's do reality right now. I was 19 when I got pregnant with you. It was the abortion I never had. <laughs> <laughs> I call him that every day. <laughs> hey, abortion. <laughs> it's too late, apparently. I keep asking doctors. And they're like, no, you can't do it anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, 19 years is... Is too late. Yeah, 16, yeah. yeah. Me I was 19 16. when I was pregnant. Sorry, 16 but that's years. very close to his age yeah. now. And so I do reality checks with that. I'm yeah. like, you have diapers, you have this. Your girlfriend will fall down the stairs while she's pregnant. Yeah. No, <laughs> but okay, so, so what I'm... <laughs> I push it. What I'm pulling... I'm, I'm trying to pull something out of there that, like, is applicable to Why don't you tell our, me what you want to hear and then we'll cut to that. No, no, you're 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 on point. So <laughs> one of... One of uh, one of the things uh, that I feel, and I, I don't, I don't know if we're talking about this one here or not, but like what I feel, I feel that like the participation trophy, oh gross, is damaging. That's so stupid to our culture. Yeah, that's really. I stupid. I think that's a big part of the problem right now. I think it, it, um, and that that's part of this generation. If you're generation. not first or last, is in our house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, so that's what you're. Can't be that's two what number you're pushing. Ones. Exactly. That yeah. makes all of it. Yeah, like uh, like Ricky Bobby said, right? Ricky if you're not, Bobby. If you're not first or last. Yeah. No, and that's important um, because uh, obviously the kids who are coming in like last place and getting a partition participation trophy or whatever, it's not doing them any good. And then no. also it discourages the kids that like busted their ass and got to the top and then got the same trophy as the I next mean, kid, whatever. Like participation that trophy isn't as good as getting first place. But if it's the same trophy and no, you were the dude that yeah, busted yeah. your ass, like yeah, how are you going to feel? It shouldn't like, be the same trophy. Yeah. It definitely no. shouldn't. It's damage. It's doing damage. And, th- and there's like a whole generation of kids right now who've like come They're up so on that. They're so entitled and exactly. stupid now. Exactly. It th- it's terrible. They're like, I'm just going to teach yoga and relax. <laughs> yeah. I'm perfect. Yeah. It's like, no, you actually suck. No, you, there, there was some, somewhere, just drinking their boot somewhere in there, the culture <laughs> of like where that was like a thing took over and it was de- very different than from when we were kids. We're like, there's so is this what you do? You like get your guests drunk and then you talk about like what you're really into that week? You're like, and so, Trump, <laughs> here we go. No, no, no. <laughs> You're like, wait, hold on. No, 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 wait. No, we're trying, we're trying to get uh, just kind of like a, you know, it's like a social experiment in a sense. Like, What happens when your guests have to pee on the show? We it, take a break. Mm. So tell, us, tell us your debut. When I debuted on wrestling? Yeah. So... Set us up, set us up. One of the what, things that what they... What was happening? Well, one of the things my family was famous for was the Iron Claw. But, like, I grew up, first of all, with girl hands, and second, with Liar Liar. And when he's like, it's the claw, you're afraid of the claw, right? So that's all I could think of. 
And so I was like, wait, so you want me to put my hand on her head and like make it look like it's hurting really bad? I'm like, my family could do that, yes. So I was like, no, I will iron claw her, I'll pick her up and I'll do a choke slam, but iron claw style and go into the splits. Wow, that's creative. I know. Yeah. Like that. Little did I know <laughs> I couldn't do the splits. <laughs> so I decided to try that move out for the first time on TV and my debut. So I go up, do it, do it in the splits. I get in the splits. But then I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Now I have to get up. <laughs> so then I get up from the splits and I could barely walk backstage oh afterwards. And then I was like Thanks, completely sir. out of commission for the week that we were supposed to be filming and it was my debut like because I completely tore everything I'm such an idiot you didn't mm. practice that one no I thought of it before I went out there I'm like maybe I could do it in the splits and then I was like yeah I used to be a cheerleader 10 years ago and <laughs> yeah so that was that's a real story like behind the camera like what, what's really going on um, yeah I'm not talented at all and then I would do <laughs> Uh, my signature move was a backflip on the second rope into an elbow drop because I thought it looked cool, which it did. But I was a bad guy, so I always had to miss. Backflip um, from, uh, uh, from the second rope, rope, and then I'd go into an elbow drop. I'm doing an elbow drop. And so you learned that then in I the backflip. Yeah, I guess. I mean, we're just like growing up in the country. It's like, let's see if I can run up the wall and do a backflip. And I could. I used to be my party trick. It actually still is. But the last couple of times I did it, like on drywall, my foot just like went through their wall. <laughs> so now we just like I try to stick to like outside the house. Like, oh, you're, you have a brick house. Sweet. Let's try this. Um, but not in the house anymore. I got a little heavy. <laughs> Seriously, my foot like went straight through the drywall, and I'm like, "Oh, what kind of wiring do you have?" Uh, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Luckily, the owners were normally drunk too, and they thought it was funny. But it was like my sister waking up this morning, like, "Oh, I have no tooth," and then they're like, "Oh, I have a hole in my wall," and then um, I never saw them again. So, so everybody, happens. grab a spoon. Okay, okay, claim okay. Claim a, spoon. claim a spoon. Claim a spoon. All yeah. right. I'm in it. This is my spoon. That's coconut. Okay. It's vegan. They should call it Coke or not. Because <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> is that Coke or not? Ew. That's, <laughs> that's really good if you like cold sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> cold sunscreen. Crystal sunscreen. So you're not a <laughs> coconut person. <laughs> that's chocolate vegan cream. Okay. Here, let me do this. Thank you. I forgot how to use the spoon. Yeah, spoon usually goes the other way, but, <laughs> you know, do your thing. Mm, that one's good. That one's really good. And then this one right here mm. is uh, mm. mango margarita. It tastes like Godiva. It's yeah, actually... That, that's uh, some chocolate. It's amazing. It's really Ghirardelli. good. Ghirardelli it ca Ghirardelli it chocolate. reminds me of a... Oh, it um, is. It uh, reminds me of a gelato because it's really like thick and dense, not yeah. like a, very airy. Like these are super airy. Okay, so this is mango. Mango margarita, there's a ton of tequila in that. Oh, there should be. You should do that. I mean, I did. There's tequila in there. Uh uh Yeah, a lot. You're lying. Because oh. you have your liquor license, so you can't sell me tequila. But you can cook with alcohol. He is it cooking if you just freeze it? <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, same thing. Okay. <laughs> he cooked that up. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the I rules. I cooked it in my freezer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, Don't cooking, get John in trouble I'm now. cooking a pile of dead babies that's, right now. That's yeah, really allowed, good. You're allowed to prepare food. <laughs> is there a way I can get, like, just, like, a whole... Uh, <laughs> yeah. A tub of it? A tub of that? You can. I love when he laughs. You miss it, but he laughs, and then I'm happy. Because he cries every time he laughs. <laughs> Josh can't laugh without crying. Uh, yes, you did. You would. <laughs> this, is, this chocolate one is crazy mm -hmm. good. I like it. I'm done, but I like it. Because <laughs> I don't like sweets, but it was really good. If this was an actual, it's not really tequila, right? No, yeah, it is. Straight up. Hmm. <laughs> and then we do uh, we do like know. a like a white Russian, which is one of our more popular flavors. It's got a ton of vodka and Kahlua in it. And Russian people. Yeah, and actually, uh, <laughs> we changed the name of it to the uh, 
the white Texan, but then that sounded kind of racist because we use uh, Tito's. Texans aren't a race. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they think they are. We think we're, they think they're a country, everything else, yeah. And then uh, it's actually called uh, Kahlua Nightmare or something like that. I can't remember. It. Cool. Yeah. You know, like, you know, we changed French fries to Freedom Fries and all that kind of stuff. No, I didn't. And I still say retard and faggot, so... <laughs> That's Let's move horrible. on. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm never canceling anything. Like and you're not teaching PE <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm not allowed around churches or you're elementary not schools. Churches or <laughs> children. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I stayed 90s. Okay, I just want to make a shirt. Stay the 90s. Everyone's alive. It's all cool. Okay. Stay the course. <laughs> Stay the course. Stay the course. <laughs> Stop making everyone a bunch of pussies. Yeah. <laughs> These kids are so sensitive. They are. That's kind of the, the point of what we're talking about. Is, yeah. I think that's your tool. That's your tool, yeah. Keep I think the that's skin your thick. tool. Is like... Yeah. Stop being so sensitive. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, don't... You're just, just being around you, like, your kids are going to be, like, thick-skinned and... Yeah, a, but I a, did before Daniel went life, to work. Know? I was like, oh, shit. You know everything we say at home, in the car, everything you cannot say at work. Yeah. You will be fired. How Even old, if you think old? they're your friend, you cannot talk like us. Yeah, like, I, I had to tell him. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it resonated. He was like, oh, he's cool, he's cool. I'm like, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. No one is as cool as mommy. Because uh, the other day, Grant wouldn't let Trip watch a rated R movie. He's almost 11. And he was like, mom's rated R. <laughs> I didn't live with her. <laughs> no, you don't say it's real. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I'm kind of worried about them living in the real world after living with me. Yeah. Because they're not going to get a job and they're no, going to have to. be fine. I've only they'll ever owned off. my own company. It's like they'll be better off. The one time I was a temp at a company a long time ago, it was like after Daniel was born, like in between like wrestling federations. I like worked at um, like TripAdvisor. It was very small, and it was like a little, a little tiny office, whatever. So I went into the supplies closet and like hid. It's like so that somebody would walk in and I could yell supplies and throw <laughs> pencils at them. <laughs> <laughs> the one little Asian guy that like had no sense oh, of humor no, happened no, no. to open the door. No, no. And I was no. like supplies. <laughs> and it, it was a racist joke. Oh, what's that they're doing? <laughs> just, when of you surprise. yell supplies to the Asian guy? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> you know, I actually didn't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> supplies! <laughs> Okay, or Sorry, see, I, see, I, we, I already know that we have to edit out everything I say. So <laughs> I went on Family Feud. This stuff is going to be like, oh, hi, yeah. hi, and bye. <laughs> great beer, yeah. stand up. The ice cream was great. <laughs> Cactus cooler. <laughs> yeah. I went on Family Feud, and me and Steve Harvey had like such a good time. I saw you on Family Feud. I, oh I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, but really, did you? Because I, they yeah, cut I, out no, I saw ninety percent of what I said. Oh, my God, they had to cut out so much. And then the funniest one that was, like, the meme that got, like, 51 million views or more. Actually, probably a lot more than that because that was a long time ago. Um, and I made top 40 of 40 years. This really? one meme. And it was so small. It was Steve saying, I don't know, it was something like, oh, where do you kiss a guy or something? And it was like, I don't know. I said something. <laughs> Where it was, and I love hot chocolate, by the way. And he was like, I love marshmallows in my hot chocolate. And it was like this whole, like, gangster meme thing. I was, like, one of the first memes. I had never heard of a meme before when this came out. And I used to call it a meme Like, I'm a meme Because that's what I thought it was spelled. <laughs> right. Um, but I realized when I watched the show, and that's the meme, and that's the everything, I'm like, oh, my God. That was not not even the funniest part whatsoever. Uh, they cut all that shit out. That's funny. Yeah, like so. I think it was like the biggest edit they've ever had. What was that uh, that game show where it was like married couples? Oh yeah, no, uh, newlywed show? newlywed show. Yeah, you, you are nine hundred. Remember that clip? Uh, <laughs> remember they used to say like they would call sex making. <laughs> I was on the first episode. Making whoopee. Remember that? Yeah, making, making whoopee. And he said, he asked the couple where where was the craziest place you guys made whoopee, and she's like, in the butt, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wasn't the place he's asking, huh? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. That was a good one. That would be in the butt. <laughs> I feel like it says it all like classy. <laughs> yeah. That would be in the butt. I Chuck. mean, for like that being on TV <laughs> in like 1979, that was pretty racy. I have got to watch that. That's so funny. Yeah. I'll send you the clip. I'll find it. I'm still clickbait with that. Like, it'll be a clip of me and Steve Harvey doing something and like, why this girl was yeah, no, canceled you, like, off of this? You just came up on, like, my Instagram the other day on that with Steve Harvey, yeah. That is oh, so really? weird. I mean, I follow I follow the Steve Harvey thing. I love those I love those clips. They're great. But yeah, it was like you and, like, a bunch of pro wrestler girls. Yeah, it was girl wrestlers against yeah. guy wrestlers. Yeah. And we apparently were, like, the worst... They've because we think differently. Right. Like the guy wrestlers and girl wrestlers, we we have a different lives. We have a different way of thinking. It is not the general public whatsoever. Yeah. So we're really bad with the answers. Like right. the guys, they we'd ask the guys like, what do you what do you know like what do girls want? And they're like hair extensions, fake boobs, tanning. None of that is reality. Yeah. Like that's looking at the girl wrestlers. That that's what they see. Right. So when they would do like the end of show, like some team would win, like the girl or the boy, they do that like fast round where you have to like yep. get as many points and then you win. Well, we had five episodes. No one ever won that. We'd always get like two, <laughs> two points, <laughs> zero. <laughs> like we just don't think the same. Like I still play and I, for me, I feel like all the answers are obvious and they're not like, I can't, I can't, I can't think like everybody else. It's just not going to happen. We need people to think different. So. Yeah, well, I'm good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I was successful at companies. If you think like 99% of the people, then you won't be the 1%. So. That's right. <laughs> you just zag the when bus. they zag. That's mm-hmm. right. All right. On that note, let's cheers it. It was cheers. great to have you. I'm yeah. glad we got to, to do more this. more beers and less <laughs> I'm just <laughs> kidding. Don't put that either. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs>